One thing that I think that people often think should be a lesson from mm -hmm. these types of trainings or a way to parent your kids knowing about background structures of discrimination is to teach people to be colorblind. Mm -hmm. And I wonder what you think about teaching colorblindness as a solution or an approach. So uh, people think it's good. It turns out it's not as good as we think. <laughs> um, I, and I can give you two yeah, examples there. Um, so, so one is just like if you look at the research. Uh, so I'll, I'll give you an example of a study that was conducted uh, with fourth and fifth graders. This colorblind approach is something that is used not only um, by parents, but uh, by uh, teachers and administrators in K through 12 schools all over the country. Um, so they're kind of deliver, you know, they get this message that you need to be colorblind. And by the time our children are 10 years old, they stop, um, you know, uh, mentioning race. They, they, they understand that it's not, the, you know, you're not supposed to notice a person's race and all of that. So they, they took took um, fourth and fifth graders, these researchers, and they um, took uh, one group of them and gave them the message, OK, we all are, uh, believe in racial equality, and so the way to get there is to be colorblind. And then they took another group of uh, fourth and fifth graders and said, you know, we all believe in racial um, equality, and the way to get there is to value diversity, to, to value difference. And then um, they exposed the children to this situation where a child um, had knocked down and punched another child on the, on the uh, soccer field. And the child who was punched was African American. And, and so people said, well, why did you, you know, punch this uh, child? Why did you knock him down? And he says, I did it because he's black. Okay, so pretty blatant, right? Mm -hmm. um, and black people are aggressive, and so I, um, I, I hit him. Mm -hmm. um, so, now, if you ask the, the children whether that's discrimination, the, the children who were in the condition where they are told to value diversity and so forth, 80% um, of them, the majority of them, thought that that was discrimination. But if you ask the children who were in the colorblind condition, is this discrimination, only half of them said that that's discrimination. Right? And so the whole idea here is that when you're, you're teaching children not to see color, they also don't see discrimination. Right? And so if the whole idea of colorblindness is so that we can achieve racial equality, mm -hmm. um, it, it does the opposite in mm -hmm. the end, because um, it, it, it puts people in a situation where they're ignoring that inequality rather than combating it. So that, that's a problem. Mm 